guys? Happy Wednesday. I'm Coach Marisa. We're switching things up today. I am joined by Coach Tommy Palms and Coach Gavin. We got an awesome workout for you guys today. We're going to start with a little warm up first. We're doing mountain climbers, inchworm shoulder taps, and some air squats. We're going to go eight, four, eight, three rounds. Just follow along with me. Hey guys. Going to start out jumping that foot up. Going to give me eight reps. Keep going. Good. After those eight, you're going to bring the feet a little wide here. We're going to walk the hands out. You're going to give me tap, tap, and then walk the hands right back up. Try and keeping those legs straight the entire time. Tap it out. Good. Two more. Last one. Good. Walking on up. Good. We're going to bring those feet to squat stance. Okay, you're going to give me eight air squats, focusing on keeping that chest nice and upright, pushing the knees out. I think that's four. Good. I think that was eight, guys. All right, we're going back to mountain climbers. Here we go. Get that foot nice and high. Opening up the hips. Good. Back up. We're going to go to those inchworm shoulder taps. Legs nice and straight. Good. Should feel those hamstrings warming up. Try and keep those hips straight. One more. Good. Right into those air squats. Go a little faster now. Pick up the pace a little bit. Good. Last round here. Going to mountain climbers. Here we go. Good, back up into those inchworms. If you want to bring the feet in just a little bit this time, deepen that stretch, you can. Good, two more. Good, last one. Good, and those last eight air squats. Here we go. Good. All right, the heart rate should be up. We're just going to do one more stretch, really open up the hips. We're doing a lot of hinging today. So we're going to do something that's called the Kang squat. Okay, we're going to interlock the fingers behind the neck, send the button hips back, slight bend in my knee. Once my back is nice and flat, I'm going to come down into the bottom of a squat, hold here, back to my original good morning position, and stand. That's one. We're going to go for eight. Okay, on you, something feels tight, you want to hold in that position, feel free to do so there. Okay, slight bend in the knee, hips back, real nice proud chest at the bottom. Good. It's a nice full body stretch, opening up the chest, hips, legs. Good, we're going to finish this one up. Good. You guys good? All right, awesome. What did you say? Yep. All right, so for today, Coach Tommy Palms came up with a nice little banger here. We have a 15-minute AMRAP. Okay, a little different style here. So we are starting with classic CrossFit rep scheme, 21-15-9. Dumbbell cleans. We're going to show you a little bit of a different version of the cleans today. I think you'll like it. 
into V-ups. So we're performing 21 dumbbell cleans, 21 V-ups, 15, 15, nine and nine, okay? Directly into another one, another 21, 15, nine. Sumo deadlift high pulls, we're gonna alternate each arm, each rep, into pike push-ups, okay? So once again, 21 sumo deadlift high pull, 21 pike push-ups, 15, 15, nine and nine. Once you've gone through your 21, 15, nine, your 21, 15, nine, you're going to complete the following AMRAP with the time remaining, okay? Three renegade rows, six thrusters, and nine mummy sit-ups all on the right side, then we're gonna to switch to the left, three, six, nine. We'll remind you guys as we go through. Okay, I'm gonna have the coaches demo the movements. But once again, 21, 15, nine, 21, 15, nine. With time remaining, we are going through three, six, nine as many times as we can until the 15 minutes is up. All right, guys, let's get it started. So for the dumbbell clean, as you see, Coach Tommy Palms has his dumbbell upright for today, okay? He's gonna start out starting position. His shoulders are lined up. He's going to clean, extend all the way at the top. Notice how his hands come around the bell and stand. Good, back down one more time. Notice his hands coming around the bell, similar to the goblet squat. He's keeping it nice and close, okay? That is the dumbbell hang clean. Okay, after that, we're going to our V-up. Okay, we're opening and closing. Shoulders are off the ground. Core is nice and tight. Okay, if that's challenging for today, we can do a tuck up. Show us the tuck up. Good. Shoulders are off the ground the entire time. Awesome, thank you. All right, moving on to the next set, uh, 21-15-9. Coach Gav here is gonna show the sumo deadlift high pull. Okay, if you notice, Coach Gav has the kettlebell for today. We're alternating hands every rep. So you will have an extra rep on one side, but you will for all of the sets. Okay, so Coach Gav is gonna start out nice sumo stance. He's gonna pull, thrust at the hips, and down. Switch. Good, notice, just pause on the top for me. Notice his elbow is higher than his hand. Okay, we always wanna make sure that our elbow is nice and high, and we're using those hips to generate the power. If we're just pulling, gonna really tax the arms. So we wanna make sure we're using that hip drive to help us there. Okay, then we're gonna go to the pike push-up. Um, Coach Tommy Palm is gonna be doing a handstand push-up for today. If you have some space on your wall and you're comfortable doing the handstand push-up, feel free to go for that today. If not, we're gonna be doing the pike push-up. And notice Gavin's uh, sideways. I want you to really notice his range of motion. So he's in almost like a tripod, a triangle and he's going to push the elbows back and head's going to come forward and then back through, Gav. Good, all the way through once again. Touch and through, good. Okay, so notice that range of motion each time he goes back and forth. Okay, and then for the AMRAP at the end, we have renegade rows, thrusters, and mummy sit-ups. So Gav's gonna show you the renegade row. If you have a little stool or something to prop up your other hand to support the same level at home. Feel free to use that. If not, no worries at all. But he's gonna row. Notice his hips do not shift. Straight back, right to the armpit, and down. Good. Okay, then for the thruster. Thank you, Gav. Okay, he cleans the bell all the way down into that front squat and presses overhead. Okay, notice he waits till the bell comes to his shoulder to go into that squat, and then he locks out overhead. Okay, and then last but not least, the mummy sit-up. Okay, we're gonna have legs nice and straight. Arms are gonna be crossed, really clenching that core up. Shoulders come past the hip crease. Good, and back down. Awesome. Okay, if the mummy sit-up is challenging for you, you can go to a regular sit-up for awesome modifications that we can still get a nice, nice core workout in there. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's do this. Again, we are going 21, 15, nine, 21, 15, nine, into that AMRAM. I'll, I'll count you guys in. 10 seconds, starting with those cleans and V up. All right, guys, let's do this. Three, two, one, here we go. Good, anytime you see a 21, 15, nine, 
You want to really try and move through those reps. Okay, nice steady pace. If you're at home, focus on getting that full extension at the top. Notice these guys are standing all the way up and then getting right deep into that squat. Nice, Gav. Remember to breathe. Awesome pace by these guys. Okay, we got a lot of work ahead of us, but they are moving at a great pace. Okay, once you are done with those 21 cleans, you are going to those tuck-ups or V-ups. Nice, Gav. Good. Nothing wrong with taking a nice little rest, shaking it out, and getting right back to it. Okay, small manageable sets are the way to go if you need to break. Here we go, Gav. Nice. Nice, Tommy. There we go. We got Coach Tommy Palms back on that 60-pounder. Looking good, looking good. Quality over quantity. Nice job, guys. Here we go, Gav. Good, keeping those shoulders off the ground. If you're at home and you feel like this is challenging, you can always go to the tuck-up. Want to make sure we keep moving. Keep moving. Coach Gav shaking it out, taking a breath, and he's back on that 15 on the bell. Nice, Gav. Here we go, Tommy. Nice job. Awesome, Gav. Good. Make sure we're getting that depth at home, guys. Really important to train your range of motion. You want to get all the way down, push those knees out, keep a nice tall chest. Awesome, Gav. Here we go, Tommy. Coach Tommy Palms is on his set of 15 here. Okay, notice this guy's, these guys are breathing. Setting that pace. Here we go, Gav. Nice. Good. Keep going, guys. If you're at home pushing, keep pushing. Okay, the reps are going down by six every time. Reps are going down. Remember that. Keep that mental game strong here. All right, Tommy. Coach Tommy's shaking it out, getting right back to it. Here we go, guys. Coach Gav is finishing up his last set of kettlebell cleans. Nice, Tommy. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Awesome job. Remember to breathe. Okay, keep that core tight. Here we go, Tommy. Nice, guys. These guys are breathing heavy, working hard. Awesome. Okay, keeping those shoulders off the ground, belly button tucked in nice and tight. Awesome work. Once they are done with their nine and nine, they're gonna go directly into their 21 sumo deadlift high pulls. Okay, maybe shake it out a little bit first. Take a nice deep breath. Okay, making sure we're using that hip drive. Power in the hips. Here we go, Gav. Switching every rep. Notice Coach Gavin is switching arms on every rep. Nice, Gav. Coach Tommy Palms is finishing up that last set of cleans. Wherever you are at home, keep going. Keep pushing, guys. Control that breath. Nice. Yeah, Gav. Nice, Tommy. These guys are working hard. Awesome job. Really important to use those hips on those high pulls. Making sure the arm's not doing all the work. Notice how high Coach Gavin's elbow is every time. He's getting it all the way up there. You got it, Tommy. You got it, Tommy. Nice. Coach Tommy Palms moving on to that 
sumo deadlift high pulls. Taking a breath, shaking it out. Okay, guys can rest at any time. Just make sure that rest is nice and manageable. Okay, get right back to it. Nice. Guys are looking good. Coach Gav is on his pike push-ups. As we were saying before, notice, watch his range of motion. His head is going all the way forward past the hands and then behind the arms and the hands. Nice. Awesome, Gav. Here we go, Tommy. Okay, if you guys are on that second 21, 15, 9, keep going. Nice job. Working hard, working hard. We are just about six minutes in, guys. Six minutes in, nice work. <clears throat> awesome, Gav. Nice. These guys are killing it. You got it, Tommy. All right. Breathing heavy here. We're getting some Wednesday. All right, Gav, back to the bell here. Okay, if you're on that set of 15 and you need to break it up, eight and seven, nine and six, whatever works for you, just keep moving. Coach Tommy Palms is up on that wall. If you're doing handstand push-ups today, awesome job. Nice, Gav. Here we go, Tommy. Crushing that set of 21. Nice job. Awesome, guys. Gav shaking it out. You got it, Tommy. Nice. Making some noise up in here. Awesome job, guys. Now. Okay, this is where it gets sticky, guys. Just got to keep pushing at home. Keep pushing. One more rep. Keep going. Shake it out. All right, Tommy. Here we go. Reps are decreasing every time, guys. Remember that. Going down by six. You got it. Stay with it. Nice, Gavin. Coach Gav with the textbook pike push-ups over here. Range of motion is A plus. Nice, Gav. All right, Tommy, here we go. Okay, you guys are making your way through that, probably that 21, 15, nine, that second set here. Keep pushing at home, keep pushing. Nice, Gavin. All right. Awesome job, guys. Nothing wrong with shaking it out. Just get right back to it. Nice, Tommy. Coach Tommy Palms is heading back to that wall. He's gonna shake it out first. Nice, Gav. Okay, these push-ups get pretty challenging, guys. If you need to break them up once again, think of a, maybe sets of three, five, whatever works for you, depending on which, where you are in the workout. Feel free to break them up. We want to make sure you're moving with quality, okay? Nice, Tommy. All right, Gav. Getting to it, Gav. Here we go, Tommy. You guys are on the wall at home today. Probably a little bit different than in the gym, but awesome job for challenging yourselves. Okay, it's a tough movement to do. I know a lot of you are working on that. Awesome job. Nice work, Tommy. Here we go, Gav. Coach Gavin is on to the AMRAP, the last part of that workout. Three renegade row, six thrusters, nine mummy sit-ups. He's staying on one side, one arm, for the entire round, and then he's gonna switch sides. Here we go, Tommy. Okay, onto those mummy sit-ups. Arms are nice and crossed. It's coming all the way up past that hip crease. Nice job, Gav. <clears throat> Coach Tommy Palms is finishing up those high pulls. Bossing that 60 around. 
No joke. Nice job. Okay, we got less than five minutes on the clock, guys. Keep working. Keep working towards that AMRAP. If you are on that AMRAP, keep moving nice and consistent, nice and steady. Nice, Gav. Three, six, nine. Good. Coach Tommy Palms is finishing up those handstand push-ups. Here he goes. Nice, Tommy. Awesome. Really using those legs, pushing into the wall. Nice job. Way to get it. All right, Gav. Here we go, Gav. All the way down, all the way up. Nice job. Okay, if crossing the arms is a little challenging for today, that's okay. Okay, we just want to keep moving through that AMRAP. Coach Tommy Palms is on to those rows. He's going to head to the bell and pick it up for those thrusters now. Again, all on the right side, then all on the left. Wherever you start, you're going to alternate every round after every round. Here we go, Gav. You guys are moving. Nice work. Good, all the way deep into that squat. If you're at home, hold yourself to that standard. Here we go, Gav. You got it. These guys are moving. Okay, we're approaching the 12 minute mark. It means we have three more minutes of work. You guys can do this. These last three minutes, dial it in at home and just Keep moving, three, six, nine, you got it. Okay, all on the right side, then all on the left. Nice job, Tommy. Here we go, Gav. Awesome. Okay, a lot of core today, mixed with a lot of uh, aerobic movement. Okay, and these guys are moving that weight around, making it look easy, nice job. Here we go, Gav. Nice, Tommy. We're working, we're doing it. Wednesday workout, guys, here we go. Let's go, Gav. You got it, Tommy. Okay, take those breaths that you need to, shake it out, guys, and keep going. You got this. Nice, Tommy. Notice he's extending fully all the way at the top. Keeping that bicep nice and close to the ear. Awesome job. Using the hips, it's all about the hips. Use that hip drive. All right, Tommy. Coach Gav is moving nice and steady here. We have less than three guys. Less than three, less than two, sorry. Okay, that last home stretch, gotta push here. That's when we get better. Gotta push past that threshold. Here we go, Tommy. Okay, remember to breathe. Brace that core and keep going, guys. If you're at home, remember, this is the home stretch. This is where you have to push. Push past that sticky point. We are almost there, less than 90 seconds. Coming up on one minute, on that last minute, if you're at home, I want you to Keep moving, do not stop moving those last 60 seconds. Here we go guys, 60 seconds, last minute of work, let's go. You got it Tommy, you got it, here we go Gav. This is it guys, this is it. If you're at home just keep moving guys, this is it. Last 45 seconds, let's go. You guys got it, awesome job. Let's get back to those rows, back to those rows. We got 30 seconds. Okay, wherever you are, just keep moving. You got it. Almost there. You got it, Gav. Let's go, Tommy. You guys got it. Back to the rows, 15 seconds. Here they go, Coach Tommy's crawling. I like it. All out hustle, these guys are going right to it. Quick transitions in three, two, one, and time. Nice job, guys. 
awesome job at home. You guys did it, 15 minutes, full body, tons of hard work, awesome job. Okay, we're gonna give these guys a second, then we're gonna give you guys a nice long cool down. Okay, something a little different today. So catch your breath, grab some water, and then meet us in the back. Nice job, guys. No, we're just gonna cool down. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if you are at home, find a wall. Maybe it was the wall you were doing a handstand push up on. Um, just find a nice flat wall. We're gonna go up to the wall. We're gonna do something called a shoulder opener. Okay, so you can keep the hands shoulder width. You guys can follow along with me. Okay, we're gonna push the head through. And we're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Okay, if this feels nice and easy, you can always bring the hands a little bit closer together. Push that head through. Good, in three, two, one, release. Awesome job, we're gonna stay on the wall. We're gonna do a little bit of a chest opener now. Okay, you guys have probably seen this done on the rig in the gym. We're just gonna use the wall today. We're gonna put our palm nice and flat, doesn't matter which side and I'm gonna rotate away. And we're gonna hold, open up that chest. Control your breath, I know you guys are breathing heavy. Three, two, one, good. We're gonna switch it up, other side. A lot of push-ups today, a lot of chest work. Keep holding. Three, two, one. Good, and now we're gonna do something called the couch stretch. You've probably seen it before. Um, if you have a pillow or a mat at home, you can put it on one knee. But we're gonna get nice and close to the wall. Okay. We're gonna have a nice L-shaped 90 degree angle here, and we're just gonna lean into that knee. Okay, if you're feeling really good and balance is good, feel free to interlock the fingers, bring them all the way up. If you're not so steady, just keep them on your leg. Okay, holding it here, three, two, one, switch it up. Okay, so that opposite leg is gonna go nice and close to the wall. Okay, make a 90 degree with that other leg, and we're just gonna hold. Good, if you're feeling good, once again, you can bring the arms up. If not, we're just gonna leave them on the leg. Holding it here, nice work. <laughs> Three, two, one, good. Right where you are, we're just gonna bring the heels nice and close to the wall. Okay, you're just gonna let everything hang down and hold here. Okay, wherever you can get down to, keep the legs nice and straight. Sometimes the wall helps us do that. Take a nice deep breath in for me through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. One more time. As you exhale, I want you to try and get a little deeper in that stretch. I wanna roll up one vertebrae at a time. And you guys are done. Awesome job at home. We'll see you guys tomorrow.